so guys hello and welcome to another podcast by rupi tech today we have tejas sagar and me and we have another exciting story that uh, tejas is presenting for us today and okay. if you all have used uh, if you all Before have that, ever used this is yeah, investment yeah. advice <laughs> none of this is investment advice it's mainly entertainment and educational as sagar is here today <laughs> but apart from that if you all have ever used a pencil back in the day i don't know how long ago but when i was small we used to use orange color pencils and we are talking about that company or a i don't know part of that company part of that company and the company is camlin and it's not the one that you think it's not the one that produces wooden pencils it's the one that produces chemicals so tejas would you like to tell us more about this company how did camlin get into chemicals from chemicals me? yes and geometry so initially, <laughs> initially they started with like uh, the ink uh, ink powder in 1931 ha ink powder ha पहले आता था अभी नहीं आता उसमें पानी मिलाने का खुद से I don't know यार that that was <laughs> don't ask questions I can't answer I only Sagar would know out of everyone <laughs> please मेरे ज़माने के ही पहले था हाँ <laughs> <laughs> so in 1931 they started with ink uh, powder and after that in 1947 they started with that all pencils geometry box stationery basically everything that we see that, that rounder today <laughs> jisse bachcha apna naam hai. likhte the aisa i saw you marta aur garo dusron ko are no 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 so in our um, what do you say in our school na we had the benches in which there were holes niche so what the year that we started getting uh, the geometry boxes now what one kid did usne na aage wale ke udhar होल से ऐसा राउंडर ऐसा रखा था एंड द गाय केम एंड सैट एंड आई सो दैट ही सैट दैट वेंट इन टू हिज बट देन आई बिकेम अ मेजर सीन इन आवर स्कूल बट यस कमिंग बैक टू केमिकल्स सो या सो आफ्टर दैट लाइक इट वाज डूइंग गुड विद द स्टेशनरी एंड एवरीथिंग but camlin didn't want to start like stop just there so it had diversification done and they started with chemicals so chemicals they just started, started with yeah them. i guess 1947 mein chemicals uh, 61 mein 1961 mein chemicals start kiya and then uske baad they started doing like फिर दो हजार छ में दे डी मर्ज लाइक द केमिकल डिविजन दैट गोट डी मर्ज फ्रॉम द मेन कैम्बलिन एंड देन दैट इज द स्टोरी वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट टूडे एंड दैट इज वॉट वी हैव ऑन द स्टॉक मार्केट एज सी एफ एस और कैम्बलिन फाइन साइंसेस टूडे एंड दर कंपनी इज लक्ष और समथिंग कैम्बलिन अप्सरा पेंसिल से Like I, I used to uh, love that pencil. I used pencil. to prefer the, no. the black and uh, black and white one. Gray one. White, no, 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 black and gray. I gray. think the best was the best was Faber Castell. Oh, oh fancy! No, that was uh, rich kid, rich kid pencil. Well, I don't know. We used to get that from school only. <laughs> like school used to provide us with those, and they were I so nice. Other but they were so nice, bro. <laughs> the uh, full triangle pencil aerodynamically good <laughs> but uh, i like those uh, yellow and black ones which are like the they are the image of what a 
नहीं यार ऐसे वो इंडिया में नहीं मिलता ऐसे बाहर ही मिलता है लेकिन वो स्पेशल यू लॉन्ग सागर इज गोइंग टू नेक्स्ट लेवल नाउ अब कंपीटिंग विद सागर यार जस्ट लॉग इन के आ रहे मेरे पास एक बाहर का भी डिग्री है एक्चुअली गाइस ना स्टेडलर स्टेडलर पेंसिल ओ स्टेडलर अरे बट यू यूज हियर आल्सो फॉर दिस नो नाउ नाउ गोइंग एंड एवरीथिंग मॉडल है वो नहीं बोलते फेनॉल से they <laughs> make diphenol which gives two <laughs> phenyl nahi bhai diphenol <laughs> diphenol banate and uh, this diphenol is split into two products which is hq and cathecol these two products are the main ingredients for all the uh, like downstream products that they make which are like uh, vanillin फिर लाइफ साइंस प्रोडक्ट्स एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट्स फिर दे आल्सो मेक कस्टम प्रोडक्ट्स फॉर डिफरेंट कंपनीज लाइक अगर कुछ ऐसे कोई कंपनी का स्पेसिफिक रिक्वायरमेंट है कि तो वो हिसाब से जो प्रोडक्ट बनते दैट इज आल्सो मेड फ्रॉम दिस टू प्रोडक्ट्स एंड दे आल्सो मेक दिस सप्लीमेंट सो बेसिकली एच क्यू इज यूज्ड फॉर एंटी ऑक्सीडेंट्स and uh, huh. right this catecol is used for fragrances and flavoring purposes yeah yeah right and under hq they make uh, like they have uh, they have either straight up uh, products or they have a blend basically blend is what they classify right. as whatever the company like if suppose a company requires specific amount of Uh, X Y Z chemical or whatever, however they want to mix it. Yeah, speciality the mixtures they come in blends. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. And uh, live uh, like supplements they make for humans as well as for animals, like for good hair coat for animals or omega three. So basically, omega all three. kinds of animals. <laughs> the ones who can talk and the ones who can't talk. <laughs> <laughs> right <coughs> so that is what they make but yeah but i think they if i'm not wrong and where i don't know oh. where i read this but i think they are the first ones in india to make vegan omega or vegetarian omega 3 like the dha vegan dha which is uh, usually found in fish or something या फिश ऑयल से बनता है ना हां सो आई थिंक दे आर द फर्स्ट वंस इन इंडिया टू डू लाइक अ वीगन थिंग ऑफ इट लाइक अ वीगन स्पिन ऑफ ऑफ इट ओ जैन लोग वीगन बेसिकली इधर इट्स क्रूड सोर्स राइट सो अभी वो मेरे को नहीं पता या तो तुम जानवर से लो या तो तुम तेल से निकालो सो हां या राइट या सो इट्स नॉट वेजिटेबल सोर्स इट्स आर्टिफिशियल सोर्स पर वो सेम एवोकाडो प्लेन में आता है but it's very like moving a bit away it's very nice to watch ha huh? like you all should as a go on youtube and watch uh, just talk oil uh, protesters getting beaten up 
and these UK ka citizens are just hammering them. Like I've seen big bulky UK guy just pulling people from the hair and they're like, hey, fuck off from here. Why the fuck do you watch such videos, bro? And it's so satisfying after a long day, someone <laughs> getting soaked. It's so satisfying to watch. <laughs> प्रॉफिट नंबर्स और रेवेन्यू नंबर्स this how much revenue does a company make selling this around 1200 1200 crores wow yes yeah that But is also uh, like no not 1200 1700 crores 1200 they used to make 2 years back <laughs> so now you all can And do cagr they just turn <laughs> Speaking of two years Kager, back, Kager. what was yeah. happening two years back? Two they years back, they started a new plant, which is no. They were making losses. Losses. Oh, losses. Sorry, losses. No. Ah, what are they making? Losses back. in twenty. No, no. Ah, five yeah. years back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Five years And back, they were making a lot losses. of losses. And why were they because of this? high raw material prices mm-hmm. there so they got listed the and they got listed at a time when they started making losses so like perfectly uh, around yeah, time of the 16 they so, got yeah they got listed at 2016 they got listed 2015 ha huh. so for 3 years the stock didn't do it. like it went up and down not 3 years 5 18. years 5 years 2020 tak kuch hua hi nahi hai uska ha stock ka yes बट लॉस जब हुआ था अठारह पे वो नीचे गया था और फिर वापस 2020 तक ऊपर आया तो तभी फ्लैट हो गया था एंड फ्रॉम 2020 दे स्टार्टेड टू रिकवर देयर इट्स लाइक न्यू टू एक्स अप एंड कमिंग स्टॉक एंड वेयर इट गो सो दे वर हैविंग लॉसेस बेसिकली 17 बिकॉज़ ऑफ द रॉ मटेरियल so phenol prices uh, phenol which is the base chemical that was uh, that is made from benzene which is again made from cumin and the prices of these raw materials were exorbitantly high at that time and uh, also there was some strike or maintenance going on in the asian manufacturing units which produce these chem- uh, chemicals so because of that there was shortage and due to shortage high prices and they were not able to transfer the high cost to the customers all so of these reasons were the end. yeah ke <laughs> matlab there was no there was that supply was also less plus raw material was also high and the cost was not transferred yeah so these were the reasons why it was making losses for two years But then they did something, which Sagar will tell. <laughs> <laughs> But you all know this uh, phenol is like finally in India. You've got a time where phenol is now going to be stable in terms of relatively stable in terms of pricing compared to earlier. Well, so the funny part about phenol was that phenol comes from benzene, right? Benzene comes from cumin. Cumin comes from crude oil. So right. in crude processing. what happens is when you you have to heat it you heat crude uh-huh. then it increases to a certain temperature then uh, one base product comes out then you heat it further uh, then another base product comes out so aise right. steps mein nikalta rehta hai uh-huh. so in that process what happens is uh, india was great at manufacturing crude and all of that matlab whatever reliance i iocl bpcl hpcl all of these guys were making crude and uh, refining it to make diesel petrol kerosene and stuff but uske aage to make the specialty chemicals they want further processing stuff okay. so what used to happen was that uh, from india you would send the base crude product which is required for making phenol all the way to china sorry i lost you 
ఇండియాకి uh in india for phenol that's why it was mm-hmm. in the news over deepak nitrate during the lockdown nitrate has gone 10x in the last 5 years so mm-hmm. that stock had gone ballistic because they suddenly put up this whole phenol and acetone uh, plant acetone is like a by product of phenol so while making phenol acetone muft mein mil jata so they set up this whole plant for phenol and captured the indian market so i'm sure camlin also must be sourcing their uh, phenol now from deepak nitrate rather than uh, importing it nam asal inside i don't know yeah so earlier and you also get rid yeah, of the raw, uh, usd fluctuation like the foreign exchange fluctuation yeah. would also affect prices for phenol earlier but yeah. now you are getting rid of that entire right. currency fluctuation part because wo bahar ja hi nahi raha india mein ho raha hai sab kuch and that is a massive cost to uh, companies that uh, use crude oil or something or crude oil as a raw material somewhere in the supply chain yeah because anyway it's so volatile one bomb somewhere exactly. happens and crude goes up 6 8% <laughs> 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 so, yeah so to read more about yeah, bombs bomb please uh, oh, you can oh, check out previous <laughs> you can check out our previous check our last uh, blog podcast and blog up here or here <laughs> and the pod and the blog will be down there kaam bada dusre log ka idhar udhar idhar har jagah link dalna padega are wo upar i can i mein aata hai udhar bas ek link dalna aur niche isme what do you say in the what is the description mein one link has to go repeating blog at the end of the podcast one person is going to hate you for sure for writing okay. <laughs> that's okay this oh, we, did did last time also. we did this also we did this this i have been doing every uh, this uh. the link is here 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 <laughs> but does he put it i don't know <laughs> no one was <knows>. no idea <laughs> but it's good i have seen a lot of youtubers do that mai ab pehla video dekhne ke liye idhar batayiye bada yaar i worked on it they just <laughs> stuck for you also yeah so it was a nice uh... <laughs> it's like a animated character are are nah he's come back yeah roman net is okay okay tejas with this haircut looks like ai has uh, scripted uh-huh. his face huh? <laughs> The long hair only looks good. Okay. Is it that perfect? No, it's good. It's very good. It's very good. It's very good. So, coming back to... Coming back to Camlin. Camlin. <laughs> yes. So, yeah, after the... <laughs> two, three bad years, how did they come out of it? obviously one is phenol prices themselves would have subsided or uh, become normalized so that raw material this, uh, pressure itself yeah. comes off and plus they uh, were able to pass on whatever price hikes more efficiently with customers. customers yeah, yeah. but yeah. apart from that the company has and the third thing was they the started their luck to what they strategic investment <laughs> so yeah the companies bro i would like to say that the company's entire business model up till now has been investment 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 but i think one of the most the major one or the most fruitful one in the future might be the one that they have in india now 
द वन इन द हेज मतलब उनको द हेज में नहीं मिला है द हेज इज अ पार्ट इन इंडिया गाइस सो एवरीवन फ्रॉम बॉम्बे एंड गुजरात या वाज वाचिंग फ्रॉम बॉम्बे और फ्रॉम लाइक अ सोबो सो दिल्ली सो द हेज इज लाइक अ पार्ट इन गुजरात एंड ओवर देयर दे सेट अप आई थिंक अराउंड हाउ मच नाउ 6000 plus 15 so around 21 million tons yeah. per annum ka capacity they have over there 21000 tons 21000 metric tons ha 21000 metric empty met million tons i was saying so metric okay. to your million <laughs> it will be multiplied by 10 <laughs> okay the metric system tejas sorry laksh <laughs> or and you explaining geography in this podcast is really un <laughs> yeah i know as now geography <laughs> shouldn't come from you <laughs> why you ask me na where where is what is where you ask me what Math is the capital Malaysia. of what is the capital of malaysia <laughs> बट ही I'll have to first study where races are not there, and then I'll come back with more questions. That's <laughs> right. But yes, so they have a plant in the hedge. Okay. Interesting thing about about the plant is that earlier they were on like in um, what do you say? In diaphanos or uh, they had what HQ made ten thousand the metric ton. Ten uh, thousand tha. Then last haan, year. Then there was a de bottlenecking where they. Uh, where they were, they managed to increase that capacity by five thousand metric ton more. And uh, recently, in FY twenty three, they commissioned the new vanillin plant of this, which has uh, it, and that is also situated in the Hejuni. It's in the same plant, uh, same place, same everything is same. But it, that got commissioned recently in uh, like last year. and uh, that has a capacity of 6000 metric ton per annum of vanillin right. production and which is so very good because vanillin mm-hmm. is like a value addition the cathecol that they produce the production cost of that is higher than the selling cost of cathecol itself the chemical sells at a cheaper rate than what it is produced at So, so converting that into them. vanillin gives them a value addition. Not waste, it was waste for like, them. पैसा तो नहीं बन रहा था लॉस ही हो रहा था. Investment wise, yes. हाँ, loss. So, so that's like a very uh, that's that's the strategic move that the company has made, along with all of their other global reach, of course. And do you know that this was not the first time they did the de-bottlenecking? No, that was the second time. de-bottlenecking for the same plant. Like this plant was, first six thousand metric tons, de-bottlenecking kia ten thousand kia, then se de-bottlenecking kia ten thousand kia. So they improved the efficiency of that plant by almost two x, three x. What this plant was getting choked over before this? 
Yeah, like it's so uh, senseless, right? The plant is producing yeah. something that is selling at a lower cost than the production cost, and yeah. they are like producing it inefficiently on top of that. अरे नहीं बस problem है नहीं problem ये है कि ऐसो में जो वो diphenol और like वो phenol का diphenol करते हैं तो उसमें से एक HQ निकलता है एक cathol निकलता ही है. And fifty five percent is cathol. ओ हाँ yeah and वो but cathol, is the HQ price Ideally, HQ price will be high enough to maintain the economics of cathedral yeah, yeah. selling for a lower price, yeah, right? Of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Of course. That is what is keeping but, them afloat for the. But no. But of now, months. them producing cathedral. Okay, fine. They produce at a loss and everything. But the uh, like the sub product that comes out of cathedral, like the down downward product that comes out of no, cathedral, that has a very high high use in the industry. So, like your flavors and your oh, what do you say your aroma Aromas. ingredients that needs vanilla. Now, yeah. taking out proper vanilla essence or something, it gets expensive. So, this is like a cheaper option to get that aroma or that flavor. हाँ, organic नहीं होगा बस ये. हाँ, वो और chemical. But ठीक है अभी. Nowadays, what is organic? Nothing organic. चलता है उतना. झटका वॉज दिस राइट लाइक टू अवॉइड एनी रॉ मटीरियल प्राइस फ्लक्चुएशन राधर जस्ट डूइंग द सिंपल थिंग्स ऑफ सॉर्ट ऑफ इंक्रीजिंग अर्गेनिंग पावर विद सप्लायर्स और बिकमिंग बिग इनफ टू लाइक muscle your way around uh, the easier things to also do is to use that product by yourself uh, add yeah. some more value by complicating the process and making a specialized chemical and uh, value added products obviously got a higher pricing than commoditized products so every single chemical company that uh, is currently there in india has the same story in terms of uh, value addition happening and uh, more specialized products getting created downstreaming happening and them using more and more of their raw materials for in house production of further chemicals so they also ensure that supply of raw material is pretty consistent because they themselves are manufacturing the raw material so they don't really need to uh, depend on somebody else uh, abhi obviously for them phenol they can't i mean uh, they might just at some point but yeah. uh, they are clearly not <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? <laughs> no, phenol, phenol. Obviously, there is a dependence, but other than phenol, whatever comes later, there is in-house supply for everything all the way down. Um, which is every company's strategy, and that's been working beautifully in terms of not just increasing your uh, realization and revenue. but also your margins because the more downstream you sell the higher value products you sell um, that delinks your pricing and volume uh, uh, equation so for lower yeah. volume you can generate higher pricing and hence higher revenue and yeah. that seedha translates into higher ebitda margins as well um, and these guys seem to just be at the beginning of that journey when it comes to value addition and downstream right because um, it wasn't that extensively done before say like five years back they weren't in as good a shape as they are at this point although the yeah, objective so, was there and they were making moves towards uh, getting here yeah. so, that's so when they right? started this vanillin ka na 2017 mein they commissioned the china ka plant to wahan pe vanillin ka start kiya but as we know ki india se phenol wapas wo jo cycle tha uske wajah se they were making losses But now that plant they are shifting to India, so उसके वजह से और value addition basically होगा वो. India में major production होगा तो vanillin का. So that's like a second uh, step, right? Like so far they have made acquisitions and gotten themselves the capability to further downstream from diphenol and make other things. But now yeah. the story lies in the fact that these acquisitions were all across the world. One was in China, one was in Italy. uh so their production capability for downstreaming was uh, abroad now that will come into india so the dahej plant gives it the ability to not 
send mal from here to wherever then again produce it there and then distribute it across the world but like yeah. uh, integrate that entire thing into one facility and make end to end right from uh, phenol ke baad diphenol to uh, end products in one plant itself so that will reduce the cost of production and give it so much of a competitive edge when it comes to pricing their product versus other products available in the market that's the thing i think like the company has gone through that entire stage of trial and error and setting up everything wherever now i think they are in the phase where they are going to just capitalize maximum on their investments like hey, abhi hai ke we know what works for us what doesn't work for us and now we know where we are and where we should be in the next 5 to 10 years Sorry. <laughs> Only friends fans will get that, but yeah. But the, I think so, a lot of people see that, you know, like with new investors also coming on board. I don't know if we can talk about that, but a lot of people see the value. in the company yeah, or like but it's also like turned it around right like all these things that we spoke of right from uh, production bringing i mean not production uh, sorry downstreaming and uh, additional mm-hmm. capabilities and the bottlenecking that's also all, already resulted in a massive improvement in financials from fy18 to 23 um, yeah from that loss making period till now um they just want to highlight quickly what those numbers are <laughs> so the margins were basically ebitda margins were negative nahi the ebitda margins were 2% in fy18 and those have went up to 12% right now and they can go up to 14 for the next two years if 14 16 to the... jai sakta na because like if downstreaming uh-huh. happens and like cost of production is also lower both of these factors uh-huh. can obviously result in higher so value added products jo add ho gaye uske wajah se margins increase ho jayenge and pat margins were also like negative 4% in 2018 total the loss of how much in 18 30 crores uh no combined 4 crores ha ah, com- like 17 18 ka combined it was uh 30, 30 crores uh and 23 but, would be 23 the profit was 40 crores and going forward we see that the like the margins going up to 6% profit margins from, from negative negative 3% to 5 to 6% in the next so, is, no, so basically is, what happens is revenue cagr uh, could be about the company is aiming at 20% cagr for the next couple of years yeah uh, margins from 14% now have upside potential given the fact that value added products come in and the cost of production reduces 12% now um, to 14 ha 12 to 14 and yeah. pat obviously from 40 crores can go up to whatever someone can do the math for by themselves yeah. because we can't give any numbers so so if so all that, of this works out well the company has a good future ahead yeah but what about valuations check out valuations valuations please hit me up so the average so it's not moved anywhere for the last 5 years right so what has the average pe yeah. been for say the last 5 years uh 2022 22 i guess okay huh. 22 times uh, two year forward forward or one year or two years yeah 25 times Two year forward. That's high, yeah. Huh? Meera, hello. Yeah. So Sahar, you know when Tejas goes two year forward. Two year forward. Oh, no. when Tejas goes. Yeah. No, even you just as a. Make like a poker face. No, I'm just patiently you... waiting. I'm like, ha, abhi aayega, abhi aayega. So I'm just. सॉरी यार ये नेट आज परेशान कर रहा है 
so 25 हाँ, times so. two year forward but for like really pathetic not pathetic but a turn around it has turned around from uh, losses to profit making but uh, obviously there's more potential for acceleration of both growth as well as uh, growth at both a revenue level as well as uh, profitability level uh, fact so yeah. from here from 25 times obviously the stock has potential to re-rate as well um so 25 times while it has been the average um, there's I, i think there's multiple reasons that can fade into uh, re-rating uh, one being the fact that revenue growth accelerates second uh, the business mix overall also improves so rather than selling commoditized products they now sell value added products so that results in better uh, traction with customers better bargaining power but more importance and criticality with customers uh, and and better mm-hmm. margins and return ratios as well so that overall financial upgrade and business upgrade both can feed into uh, a valuation re-rating and any stock with an earnings upgrade plus a valuation re-rating is like the perfect mix of what you need in क्या बोलना है देखो मोर इन टू the company instead of like, but that is obviously but, uh, anybody who seeing this uh, has the option to get those insights by just like buying the portfolio right portfolio. because that will give you access to research about the stock which will have more insights and uh, projections as well because there we are providing advice on stuff um, exactly. so if you want to yeah muft mein itna hi milega chalo jao we can bye <laughs> <laughs> that's it <laughs> but yes that's come back next week come back next week for another exciting come back next week for more free stuff more yes. free insights <laughs> it's a wrap on that note yes. bye bye thank you very much thank you bye bye subscribe karo like karo comment karo share karo share share, share with your friends share, share with your share market subscribe सब्सक्राइब तो सब इंटरेस्ट लाइक फॉर लाइक फॉलो फॉर फॉलो